to a normal volunteer for a phase one trial to see if it's safe. That's the fastest that's ever been done. That's the good news. The challenging news is that even at that rocket speed, it's going to take a few months to show that the initial safety is okay. Then you go into a phase two trial, which instead of involving 45 people, which we have in the phase one trial, it involves hundreds, if not thousands of people. That will take another six to eight months to even know if it works. So at the fastest we can go, it's going to take a year to a year and a half to know if we have a vaccine that we can use. There's another element to safety, and that is if you vaccinate someone and they make an antibody response and then they get exposed and infected, does the response that you induce actually enhance the infection and make it worse? And the only way you'll know that is if you do an extended study, not in a normal volunteer who has no risk of infection, but in people who are out there in a risk situation. This would not be the first time if it happened that a vaccine that looked good in initial safety actually made people worse. There was the history of the respiratory syncytial virus vaccine in children, which paradoxically made the children worse. One of the HIV vaccines that we tested several years ago actually made individuals more likely to get infected. So you can't just go out there and give it 